Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome to Coding Ambitions. And today we will learn about composition local in that pack compose. So let's start with that. And before that, I would like to say you guys, if you want to learn Jetpack Compose, I have created a course for this. So you can check out my previous video for Jetpack Compose. All the things are covered there. And now we'll be covering the uh, composition local. So let's continue with that. So composition local is used when we want to pass the data down the tree. So down by down the tree, what it means is like, let's say we have a multiple composables, right? and we know that multiple composables will be using our data so instead of passing that in each and every composable we can create a composition local for that and that can be used down the tree in all those composables that can be used implicitly we don't need to pass the data explicitly so let's start with that so basically let's say just for example suppose uh, we have uh, uh, after login just, just assume it for the sake of example but we usually don't use it like this suppose we want to create a uh, logged in user after the login we will create it uh, before that let's create its data class so it name just for example we will be taking these two fields right so initially we need to provide some error there right and because we don't know at this moment but we don't know what is the value of this right so and can make it like this and suppose after login so let's say we are done with login here so before we are we navigate so what we will do is we will put this value let's say uh, ID is equal to this is something like which he will be getting from the server or somewhere like you know like after login you will be getting the name of the user from the server or you can say and suppose after login from login screen we want to use the user instead of passing that inside the composable so we can directly use or in instead of passing it in the parameters or navigation arguments we can directly use it as a composition local so just suppose where we want to use that so basically composition local uh, providers are used for providing the composition locals right so we use that where we need to only use right so suppose we want to use that on home screen right so let's come back here and let's say on the home screen and from home if we are going anywhere in all those screens right just for example you can assume it so here if we want to uh, yeah this is the important step so we use infix function here so basically this is our user actually let's give it a name like this because this is the naming convention local we use this like so let's say and in this small actually even this is better so local user this is our composition local right provides this is the way type 
uh, sorry composition type uh, provides and its value of type so type is we have saved that inside user logged in right We need to define it of user, right? It is a static, so it's a generic function, you can say. So it requires some type for which we are creating this composition local for which type. So <clears throat> let's say here we want to use it user local dot. So this way, is the current dot current property is used, so it provides the value of the type. And type is what is the type user so now we can try to run it so that's after login uh, we are passing it down the home screen so on going to home screen we can see user is there right and now let's say from user from home screen we are going to anywhere else so inside this scope so we can pass that so inside this composition local provider and this is its lambda inside this it will provide this value and we can also use multiples lambdas also composition local provider for right so let's say inside this place we need some different value and here somewhere we are using uh, at some other places we need it some different value so we can again use it like this and here let's say we have updated it something else so then what will happen is inside this so inside this what it will use it will use this value so it's immediate parent from its immediate parent composition local provider right and let's say here if we want to use it will use this value right so this is the way how we can use multiple at multiple places as well composition local provider it can provide different different values right so this is way of passing it down so uh, we can use there are two ways of creating this one is static composition local of this one but main difference is what is main difference that is not used that much because if we use static composition local of so what will happen is inside that let's say let's say just for example assume this is static composition local so inside this so we are using current here only right right so if if this value changes so only this composable should recompose right but if we use static composition local what will happen is inside this in each and every composable suppose here we have other composable right the composable one here we have another composable so even though we are we will be not using this current value there but still all these composables inside this local compo local provider will be recomposed in case of static composition so that is only I think we can use if we are sure that something is very rarely changing so that for that kind of thing we can use static composition local. so these are two ways of creating the composition local and the way it, it is being provided to the down the tree is this composition local provider method and this is about composition local provider so these are custom local composition provider right but we have some inbuilt composition locals as well in, in jetpack compose right so those are if i give you a list there are many actually the local context for getting the current context in android you know what is the context if you are android developer and so it can be local configuration as well it can be local life cycle owner Some more are also there I think some local view is also there provides the current view so these are some inbuilt so uh, let's say we local configuration will be taking the case of that so what is local configuration so suppose we want to use orientation right so what we can do is configuration dot current dot orientation so it can provide orientation right it can provide many things locales as well right 
or you can check it out it provides many useful things related to configuration is night mode active right these are some useful things layout direction right so let's say for example we are taking orientation here so now here let's say if orientation so we can use let's say if your device is in the landscape or portrait so if it's landscape we can show different ui if it's in portrait view we can show different ui right and similarly we can check many other things is night mode active so there are many things like it provides it provides locales as well right so this is about some uh, inbuilt composition locals similarly we can you want to use uh, current activity life cycle owner we can use local life cycle owner right if we let's say local life cycle owner so we can use local life cycle owner as well so uh, depending on our context we can use any of the inbuilt composition locals as well or we can create our own composition local as the main motive is to pass the data down the right without explicitly passing the data right actually it's the way of passing the data but we are not passing it explicitly but still we are able to pass the data but in general it is not recommended why it is not recommended so because let's say it implicitly provides the dependencies for in the home screen we are not aware like this is the home screen we are not aware from the outside let's say we have created a composable function for this so that function will not be accepting any parameters right but so we will not be aware that it's using this let's say we are doing testing so there it becomes difficult these dependencies are internal dependency testing becomes difficult and second thing can be it can change from anywhere from some other part of the code let's say from here it changes from some other where also it can change so if that changes then our ui gets rendered so we lost some control on these things right so this is not the correct way so what is recommended by our team is we should not use this that much only if it's very urgently needed we don't have any other choice only then it should be preferred right so this is about the composition local guys so i hope you guys have understood the concept of composition local if you want to learn more about jetpack compose and how to create some projects in Jetpack Compose, so don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. I will be covering those in the coming videos. So till then, bye bye. Take care. Keep coding.